FM Stavros. Good morning and welcome. And if you're all watching this on New Year's Eve, I just want to say Happy New Year to all of you and thank you very much for watching throughout 2017. Plenty more videos to come in 2018. So behind me is an MAN rigid truck. The first MAN I have featured on my channel. About time some of you will say. But this is a TGL 10 180. So I'm going to show you all around the outside of the truck. We'll have a look inside and then we'll take it for a test drive. Bit of a stormy day today, guys. We're waiting for Storm Dylan to pounce on us. If you're watching this on New Year's Eve, as I said, it's probably passed and hopefully it hasn't caused too much damage. Let's take this MAN for a spin, guys. Let's go. So starting off with the exterior, we do have a small little day cab here. Um, that is somebody else just pulling out there in another MAN rigid there. Off he goes. <laughs> yeah, so we do have a small day cab, as I said. Uh, you can get other configurations, but that's all we have here today. We have the roof spoiler there as well to aid with aerodynamics and a good wide windscreen as well. Good visibility out of that. And we have the MAN badge there at the front as well. MAN standing for Maschinen Fabrik Aus Augsburg <laughs> Nuremberg. Yeah, so my German isn't the best, guys. Maschinen Fabrik Augsburg Nuremberg, a German manufacturer, MAN. So yeah, as we walk around, pretty simple enough design with this small little cab. We do have the wide angle mirror there on the front, one at the bottom and a big one there on top and your blind spot mirror there on the side, your TGL 10 180. So the 180 standing for the PS figure, which is just over 177 horsepower. So not a lot of power, but then it is just a small little truck. Um, the tires there, we have 235 75 profile tires, 17 inch rims, and same size rims front and rear. And we have the double wheels there at the back. Sorry about the wind, guys. We are expecting a storm here. <laughs> so it is going to be pretty wild today. We have the tail lift there. I'll show you that shortly as well. And you just plug in your socket there to operate the tail lift. But we'll go down through all that shortly. Now we'll just talk about the cab or the, sorry, the body dimensions we have. It's 12 feet high from the very top down to the ground. It's 18 feet long and it's eight foot four inches in width. So uh, full width actually, it's, um, it's not very narrow at all this truck. So we're talking full width body here and just normal lamps there at the back. They're not LEDs and your double barn doors there at the back. We'll just have a quick look in the rear actually and just give you a look and let you see what we're dealing with here. And we can hold our door there in the side by that little holder there, very handy. Now I'm just going to hop in the rear and give you guys a look. So the clearance we have in the rear is eight foot one inch in through the side. And internally here we have 17 foot two inches in through the side as well in between the pillars. And you would fit 10 of these pallets. So your standard pallet there, 120 by 100 centimeters. And you would fit 12 of these Euro size pallets. So 120 by 80 centimeters. So 12 of them or 10 of these. And you would still have a little bit of space there at the rear, accommodating those pallets as well. And we have a fiberglass roof there. I prefer the aluminium ones myself. They're just easier to repair the aluminium ones. But this one already has a patch on it there. So somebody obviously hit that at some point and we just have a little lamp there at the rear. So yeah, that's basically what it's like on the inside guys. Pretty simple enough. I'm just going to hop back out now and we will have a look at the cab. So before we hop inside, we'll just have a look at the air intake. That's what that is on the back of the cab and the body there coming as close to the cab as it can to get as much space in the rear as possible. That is your key. Simply open it up with the key. No remote control, no frills, as I said. The uh, driver's seat there is on full air, 
so very handy and nice comfy uh, driver's seat there with the seat belt connected to the seat and I'm just going to stick the key in the ignition because I just want to show you the remote control here for the back axle uh, let's just switch that on and I'll just demonstrate to you there that you can lower and you can also rise up this uh, back axle as well so very handy for backing up onto ramps and for the tail lift as well I'll show you that in a while why that's handy for the tail lift um, so yeah I'm just going to put that back in there that is your tail lift remote control and we'll have a look at that in a while uh, your door cards there simple fabric there on the door cards you can rest your elbow up here and uh, yeah just storage down the side there as well we have no clutch pedal this is a six speed tip matic gearbox here from man um, fully automatic let's just hop inside and give you a look at this um, gear selector here so we have drive we have drive manual and re neutral reverse and reverse uh, maneuver so if you want to reverse back really slowly you'll put it into rm mode and your handbrake there and we have storage there at the back so as we fold down the seat there it acts as a kind of a table so uh, you can store your documents there on the back if you wish pens here and cup holders there and more storage at the back there as well of the seat and we have storage here all along the top of the windscreen and a small little light there for the driver little reading lamp and uh, we have our tachograph here as well I did have to renew my driver's card recently um, every five years you are required to renew those cards that cost me 45 euro for a two driver's card yeah always taking money off you guys uh, yeah so the windscreen there good visibility out of that but the visibility there is not good in between the mirror and the pillar uh, that mirror should really not be as close to the pillar as it is there you should be able to look out in between them so that is not good um, the dashboard we have cup holders there on either side we have our ashtray here uh, 12 volt socket 24 volt socket our little MAN radio there as well with a CD player uh, heating controls here no air conditioning just normal heating controls we can turn on and off our automatic exhaust brake um, tail lift switch there limiter for our cruise control lamp switch and our reversing buzzer we can turn that on or off okay the controls here uh, rev counter here uh, fuel gauge engine temperature gauge air pressure gauges here uh, just underneath the speedometer and I'm just going to turn on the ignition and we have our display there as well let us know what gear we're in and various other functions are displayed on that and we have controls there at the side for uh, adjusting your light beam there on the headlamps and another lamp switch there as well for your light test and uh, hazard warning light and fog lamp there and more lamp controls there for your outside lamps and on the door here we have electric windows and our mirrors can be adjusted electrically and they are also heated as well so uh, yeah that's just aborting our lamp test there from that function so I'm just going to turn off the ignition and we will pull the grill and I'll give you a look at that and we'll see what's behind our grill so we have two handy little handles there for hopping in and out just one simple step into this small little cab so let's open up the grill and give you a look in here we have our coolant bottle there and we can top up our oil there as well and our dipstick is there and small little uh, radiators there on the inside as well and just those stickers there so you're not allowed to hose all around this area here just little warnings there do not hose there with your power washer so that is the grill area there and the outside of the MAN now I'm just going to get the remote control for the tail lift and show you how that operates so we simply just plug that in there and operate it here with the little remote control and we get our tail lift down so you pull out the tail lift manually guys just like this after you fold it down it goes 
and then the top part here goes down like that so simple enough rising it and lowering it yeah up you go and then down as well so you know how these work guys let's fold it back in and that's it job done okay it's time to start it up and take it for a drive oh yes what a beast okay off we go so yeah i thought it was about time i showed you a small little truck as opposed to all the big ones that i normally show you <laughs> so yeah stick it into d we are in first gear now leave off our handbrake off we go nice and simply and we're straight away into second gear now this engine as i said 177 brake horsepower 177 horsepower and yeah it's gear change <laughs> yeah a bit slow then third gear and up into fourth gear yeah it's a bit slow to change gear all right that would be nice if it was faster so we have 700 newton meters of torque developed at 1400 rpm this truck is also equipped with the EGR exhaust gas recirculation and uh, I'm just gonna pull out of this junction here now so one thing about the steering as well it's kind of slow to self-center so look I'm just turning here and yeah it could be quicker to self-center the steering as well but um, I did drive the previous version to this truck uh, it was a 1998 model and this truck is far more stable on the road you can feel it uh, far more stability in this truck and uh, yeah it's quite comfortable now of course it's not going to be very powerful guys <laughs> you can't expect miracles from a little truck like this uh, it is only a little seven and a half tonner um, but the total weight of this truck that is cab, body and chassis. The total weight is 5,510 kilos. So uh, yeah, I'm just going to turn on to the dual carriageway here and we'll see just how many revs this truck is coming in at, at about 80 kilometers. So you see, this is, <laughs> this is where it's slow as well, guys. Going into roundabouts, trying to find a gap in a roundabout and you're just come on come on <laughs> yeah it's a bit slow going into roundabouts now uh, bear in mind that this truck is empty as well i do not have a load on this truck uh, we are testing it empty and just as well the high winds are, <laughs> have not reached us yet because we would be blown away quite nicely in this truck it is a, a high truck and it is a light truck so uh yeah you will be um kind of blown away all right <laughs> yeah so out we are onto the dual carriageway I will get it up into 80 kilometers and just see what we are revving in at so I have it now at 80 kilometers and we're just revving in at 1600 rpm so yeah not too bad there in rpms uh, we do have a 150 liter fuel tank on this truck as well so quite a small tank as well but yeah it's stable the, the seat is nice and comfortable the previous model that i drove the 1998 man did not have um, an air seat so this is a welcome addition to this particular model uh, rory lynch trans transport did operate a 1998 man for 19 years so this particular model that they have will have to last them an awful long time into the future but uh, it has been a very popular selling truck for MAN this particular cab and nice compact well designed cab as well uh, but as I said that visibility out of on the left side could definitely be improved between the mirror and the pillar I uh, don't really like that and uh, it is even worse on some of the newer tractor units as well but i'll talk about that in another video 
if I get to drive one of the tractor unit MANs. But um, the visibility out on my right hand side is good. I do like the big gap in between the mirror and the pillar on this side. So that is good. And we're just cruising away here nicely. It is stable on the road as well. We do have an air suspension on the rear and parabolic springs on the front axle. And uh, we do have our exhaust gas, uh, exhaust brake, sorry. And we can turn that on. And what we can do as well is if we switch on this switch, we can have it coming on with our brake pedal. So every time we press the brakes, our exhaust brake will come on in addition. Um, so it's slowing you down even more and it will save on brake wear as well. Uh, having your automatic exhaust brake. And uh, very handy as well, you just press it in and the exhaust brake will come on automatically. So uh, yeah, I do like that feature and then you press on the accelerator and it shuts off. So you don't have to keep pressing it on and off, it will shut itself off. And coming down to our little roundabout here before we turn around and go back to base. But um, yeah, if you were to put a big heavy load on this truck, you do have to drive it very carefully around the bends because it is a small truck and it does have small little wheels so you just have to be careful and make sure that you are careful on the bends guys with a truck this size so uh yeah just going around the roundabout and we'll just go up that hill and uh <laughs> yeah we'll just see how how quick it is to get up to 80 kilometers there guys going back out onto the motorway and we just uh, knock it down another gear here. Just to put it in a more acceptable gear going up the hill. Okay, third gear. And let's just see how quick it is. You see, <laughs> it needs to change gear quicker, guys. I can feel it kind of, you know, come on, come on. And we're up into fifth gear. So you can imagine if we had a load on now, you know, but of course I can go down manually if I wish just by pressing in this and going up the, the hill manually. So uh, I'll just do that now and see how quick we are at getting up into 80 kilometers. Um, up into two, two and a half thousand RPM there and we're back up into sixth gear and <laughs> we're still getting there guys slowly. And there we are, 80 kilometers, yeah. So it's not going to break any records guys, this truck, for power. But look, it is a small little engine and this is what you have to expect from a truck of this size. Um, it's not built for doing long haul, thousands of mile journeys. It's only built for kind of local distribution. And it has a 4.6 liter diesel engine, four cylinder. So uh, yeah, it's not going to be very powerful. 700 newton meters of torque from 1400 rpm as i said we are in manual mode here at the moment and we can just press in our lever and go straight into automatic but um at least you do have that control to manually override your automatic gearbox and uh yeah that's it heater's working great on this cool day here but i am getting a good bit of wind noise Yes, <laughs> there is a lot of wind noise coming in this area here. Um, just one of the drawbacks, I suppose, with a truck of this design. Uh, it is very um, upright at the front in its design. So I'm just going to turn here now and head back to base. <laughs> So you can get this cab in four different configurations. We are in the C cab, this is the day cab. You can get an L sleeper cab, so we do have the sleeping section at the back of that. Then you can get the LX sleeper, which would give you more height on top here above my head. Then we have the DK cab, so this would be a crew cab, where so you would have area uh, at the back of me there for uh, more seats, so you can carry more people in the DK crew cab. So yeah, that is the configurations. So um, definitely a cab for all your needs in the MAN TG series.
And there we are, back from the drive in the little MAN. The, oh, turn off the lights. Yeah, so the little TGL 10180. Uh, not a very powerful truck, guys, but then it's not designed to be. A truck like this is designed for all those tight city deliveries. You really need a truck this size for that purpose. And the tail lift on the rear as well, very handy to have that as an option. Yeah, so if you want more information on this truck, check out WH McCormick & Sons up in Straban in County Tyrone. That's where this truck was purchased by Rory Lynch Transport. And it also features in their 2018 calendar as well, uh, McCormick's calendar. So nice touch by them featuring this truck. Uh, the annual road tax is 500 euro in Ireland on this truck, and there is no ad blue tank. So you just have the exhaust gas recirculation system, the EGR fitted to this MAN. And that's it guys, nothing else left to say, except thank you all very much for watching, and I will talk to you all again next weekend for another video. So until then, take care and thanks for watching. <laughs> Cheers!